the best cinema conveys a message that impacts the viewer's life without their knowledge of how. This was written by Sergio Leone, one of the best directors of the 20th century and an expert in conveying highly complicated meaning in the simplicity of a few short scenes. Your spurs. But changing how people behave through cinematography wasn't born with Leon, and it didn't die with him. Conveying an impactful message through film has been attempted since 19th century motion picture, and with the growing accessibility of film resources, many have attempted to perfect the craft. The craft of embedding seemingly concrete storylines with powerful ideas. A great film will engage the viewer so immensely that their emotions and thoughts become consumed and disrupted. This is powerfully executed by Quentin Tarantino, James Cameron, and most recently, Stefan. Meaning is very rarely objective, and in Stefan's most recent great works, he shows his understanding of this by producing films that are symbolic, thought-provoking, and brutally up to interpretation. But Stefan frequently presents his viewers' ideas from varying philosophical schools of thought, such as absurdism. Let's go, 99 fire making. Oh, public's off. There we go. <laughs> Kill yourself. There we go, 99 fire making on the hardcore, ladies and gentlemen. In this scene, Stefan has accomplished an incredible feat. He has achieved something great. And in the cheer of the crowd, we can see the excitement and joy of everybody around him. He wants to communicate, this is a time for celebration. But that's just the storyline. A product of artistic genius typically evokes something more than that. Let's watch the scene again, and this time, listen closely to the underlying message of the scene. Let's go, 99 fire making. Oh, public's off. There we go. <laughs> Kill yourself. This scene alone speaks to the brilliance of Soup's work. Cheers, excitement, dancing, they're all to be expected. And as you watch, they fill your experience with a sense of optimism. And this is where his talent comes into play. Stefan adds an entire new layer of depth by making the choice to address the stark contrast in the scene, to make a point of it. Surrounded by cheer and joy, the text, Grats Kill Yourself, is a stark contrast to the rest of the environment and disrupts the optimistic feeling you had. It reminds the viewer of the inevitability of death. It addresses the spectrum of happiness and begs the question, what is the purpose of life? It's not often that we get the philosophical insight into the mysterious mind of a genius, but some critics believe that Stefan answers this question for himself with his immediate reaction, a small chuckle. <laughs> a reminder that the serious questions and the darkness in the world can be approached with optimism, that despite the challenges we face, we've gotten this far, and we're not stopping here. Contrast is Stefan's specialty for embedding a deeper meaning into his productions. This wasn't the first film where he employed it as a cinematic device. Many other projects have had the same effectiveness. As you watch his video, you are invited into his world. We become part of his adventure. With his word choice, we are dragged out of our own lives and into his experiences. Suddenly, achievements he makes are our achievements, too. Oh, let's go! Yes! That is an item we need, and that is a beast item. Not a worthless one, the DH play body. We only have uh, one chest so far. Despite the invitation into his universe, Stefan seems to study the limit of how much togetherness we can actually have. How much our experiences are capable of overlapping. That no matter how hard we try, our individuality is inescapable. Our experiences are different, and then there's no mechanism to share our minds or experiences exactly how they are. Every every Barrows item I've gone so far has been has been great, so uh, I'm really happy with that. And all in one shot, Stefan invites us into his world and makes us feel as we've accomplished something together. And then, in another stroke of contrast, he refers to himself as I instead of we stripping us of our claim to that adventure. As if, in those few short moments, he's come to a conclusion. He's decided to not only tell us that our experiences are different, but to show us. He shows us the work he has done by himself to accomplish his goals, and emphasizes how he feels about them. 
This has been a study on how Stefan expresses meaning in his films, specifically how he employs contrast to provoke profound questions for his viewers. As with all underlying themes, his cinematography is up for interpretation. For each person, there's a new way to derive meaning from anything, be it films, events, religion. But in Stefan's work, there's an abundance of symbolisms and undertones that make the possibilities for interpretation endless. And once you've found your way to perceive the brilliance of his films, you've discovered the point of it all. It's art in its purest form. Thank you for watching the video and supporting me. If you had any disagreements with my interpretation, let me know in the comments below. Also, you can comment below or tweet me if you would like me to analyze any other RuneScape content creator. I'd be happy to do so. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I love the pussy. Stefan.